So there is nothing like a prison in terms of this theme of boxing people in. And also in prison, there are not normally a lot of reasons to laugh. And for so, so precisely for that reason, it's an interesting place to explore the power of laughter, and particularly the power of laughter to connect us as human beings. So I am an avid laughter yogi, and on the left, I have two main inspirations on the left, the laughing Buddha, and on the right, the laughing guru, who, who in 1995, founded laughter yoga based on two principles. The first, that laughter is too important to leave to chance, and the second, that anyone can laugh for no reason at all. So my laughter yoga journey started with a YouTube video when John Cleese visits Dr. Kataria's laughter yoga clubs in India. And at the end of that, he says, in the video, he says, it's almost impossible to maintain any kind of distance or any sense of social hierarchy when we're just howling with laughter. And he goes on to say that laughter is a force for democracy. Now, humor is a mental activity. It is very individual and it is very cultural. But laughter is 100% universal. It takes place in the body. And when we practice it, we gain access to the spontaneous joy that was so accessible when we were children. So these men don't really look like they're in prison. It's a prison in the Philippines, and actually it's a distribution center. So these people have been sentenced, but they will then be shipped off to their various and sundry prisons. And my friend Paolo here, who's not in the photo, is leading them in namaste laughter, which is simply a way of greeting one another by bringing your hands together, bowing, and laughing. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> So the elements of laughter are, the first begin with clapping and chanting. It's a way of warming up the body. And so I'd like to ask you to join me with a very simple little chant here. We're going to just simply go, ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho. Element two is breathing exercises. It's really the link between laughter, and laughter yoga and traditional um, Traditional yoga practices are one of those links anyway. And so I invite you just to take a breath with these fellows from New Mexico by taking a breath in and sending the hands up. And exhale. So the third element is consciously cultivating childhood play. And we do that in a number of ways, one of which is via a little mantra. So just do what I do and say what I say. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Like you heard the best news you ever heard in your whole life. Yay! Like that. Yay! <laughs> yeah. So then we enter the infinite world of laughter exercises, and Paolo is leading these men in milkshake laughter, which originally was mango lassie laughter. And so you have two invisible glasses. Are you ready? Let's go. Ah. Uh, 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 and then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is lion laughter. It's beloved the world round, in part because it is so childlike. Very easy, everyone hands up, tongue out, and laugh. <laughs> 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 so this is Lion Laughter in Mexico. That's my friend Luis in the middle. <laughs> the program is called Desencadena to Alegria, which means unleashing or unchaining your joy. And this is a pilot program that's had tremendous success here at this prison, and his goal is to get Laughter happening in every prison in and around Mexico City. So this is Dr. Katari and I doing laughter, you know, laughter, lion laughter, just outside the Albuquerque County Jail this past summer. Prior to this, I had done a little bit of laughter in my meditation classes at the ACI in Cranston, but this was my opportunity to sort of see this, see the practice in action with Dr. Katari the master. And here he is explaining the benefits of laughter yoga, particularly as a means for combating stress in challenging circumstances. These men have not been tried. Many of them have been waiting for more than a year to be tried. So you can imagine the level of uncertainty and anxiety in this room is very, very high. Now, a prison is a palpably negative place, toxic even. And yet there's this absolutely magical quality of laughter that dissipates that negativity in this quite phenomenal way. The other thing about prisons and laughter is that where it does show up often, it shows up in the form of ridicule and teasing in life, too. And so this childlike form of laughter has this, has this way of actually evoking a natural warmth, a genuine warmth between people. <coughs> Thank you. 
And so all of us wear masks all the time, today even, and yet in prison those masks are especially thick. And so it's such an amazing, extraordinary moment when you start to see that mask fall away, maybe just for a moment, and what's underneath it is a moment of joy that transcends <laughs> experience. So I threw this picture in of nuns or cloistered nuns in the Philippines in part because regardless of whether we're looking at the archetypal bad human being or the archetypal good human being, what you see is so utterly obvious is our essential sameness. And I love her a lot. <laughs> so this is me over here on the right in a laughter meditation back in Albuquerque. A laughter meditation is where we explore in the practice spontaneous laughter and at the end a fellow came up to me and he said, thank you for coming. I feel like we were all sitting together in one giant sandbox just playing. And I knew at that moment I wanted to bring more laughter to the prisons here in Rhode Island. This is one of the three where I teach. And some of the quotes from inmates are, this place is so negative, thank you for bringing something so positive here. I've learned that there is an alternative to stress. And this is the first time I felt peaceful in the six months I've been here. So I close with this final, this final image from the Philippines, it's one of Paolo's images, and I ask you all to just bring a hand to your heart, maybe massage the chest a little bit, take a breath in, and we'll close with a few moments of laughter together. So, breath in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jay. <laughs>